Let's crack, let's code with KidBright. Part 5, using the KidBright board in IoT applications, temperature control system via a smartphone. What are you designing? Wow, a mushroom grow box. It has light protection and controls humidity. Very good. How about the temperature? If it's too high, it's not good. Yes, KidBright is a solution. If the temperature is too high, turn on a fan. How can we know the temperature when we are not inside the house? No problem. KidBright can connect to the internet. It can be used in an IoT mode. Go to the tab Basic. Write a code to read switch 1. Turn on the USB fan. Then push switch 2 to turn it off. Go to the tab IoT. Data from the board can be transmitted through the internet to display on a mobile screen. Data can be shown in real time on a gauge and can be kept to be shown in a graph. It's easy to use. Connect the block Send Data to Gauge 1 with the temperature sensor and name it Temperature and set its unit to C or degrees in Celsius. You can set the color, say red. If you want to record data continuously, connect the block Send Data to Graph 1 with the temperature sensor. Name the graph. Set the color to be red. Don't forget to put a delay. When everything is done, press Build a Program. Next, connect to the internet. Go to the Wi-Fi Setup button. Enter an SSID and the password. Click OK. It is now ready in the IoT mode. To connect to the application, just hit the QR code button. And open the KidBright IoT application to scan the QR code. You can now see the gauge, graph, switch one, and switch two. It's ready. Try pushing switch one. Try pushing switch two. The Mushroom Grow Box is now equipped with a temperature control system. And this system can be used to monitor and be commanded via the internet. With the IoT mode, KidBright can be used creatively. It's even more fun, isn't it? Let's crack, let's code with KidBright.